Hi guys, I'm here and today I thought I'd do a special video to raise awareness of a condition I have and a lot of my friends have too. Um, Asperger's syndrome, yes. I have had Asperger's for a very long time and I'm not making this up, but I just wanted to show you guys what it's like to have Asperger's and explain a little bit more about my condition. So us people with Asperger's may have difficulty showing empathy to others, problems understanding another person's point of view, which is very important for me, difficulty engaging in social routines such as conversations or small talk, which I really struggle badly with, preferring routines and becoming stressed or anxious if disrupted, like if I'm doing a routine in the morning or in the afternoon and if I get like disrupted or if there's a change, I can get very upset. And here's the main one, intense focus on a particular area of interest or hobby. Now, many of you may know that my idol is the one and only Fenella Fielding who sadly had a severe stroke this weekend. Um, so I do wish her well. And most of you have asked me why, why, why is Fenella your idol? Uh, is there any reason why you like her? How did you get into her? And I've always wanted to explain, so I'm going to kind of explain it in this video. I found her through the Carry On films, and how did I find the Carry On films? Kenneth Williams. How did I find out of Kenneth Williams? Willow the Wisp. How did I find out about Willow the Wisp? Old Kid Shows, which is my most favourite thing in British media, like on telly and stuff. So, I've met Fenella twice, and unfortunately she's not going to be making any more public appearances after her stroke. She's retiring. So, I just wanted to wish her well, and Simon, please pass on my wishes if you're watching this video anyways. We also have trouble understanding other people's emotions, and often missing or misinterpreting subtle cues, such as facial expression, eye contact, or body language. So, sometimes we can't read between the lines at uh, another person. And finally, problems controlling their feelings such as anger, depression or anxiety, which I struggle with very, very badly. I have, I have really uncontrollable anger and sadness and stuff, so sometimes I see a lot of stuff I don't mean, so the next day I might feel apologetic, so I might apologise to you the next day. Before I get started, did you know that there are around 700,000 autistic people in the UK? That's more than one in 100. That's like a lot of people. And they've either been diagnosed recently or a very long time ago. People with Asperger's syndrome come from all nationalities and cultural, religious and social backgrounds. Although it appears to affect more men than women. So we're kind of lucky to have Asperger's. I mean, I've got a friend who lives in Ireland, Aoife, shout out to you, and I had a friend from Canada called Brianna, unfortunately we don't talk anymore, so I won't get into depth with that. Having Asperger's is actually really, really hard, and I have never wanted to speak about it until now because I was worried I'd get like a negative force from people, but I just wanted to explain that this is how I am, I'm not horrible, it's, and I'm, it's my autism, and I'm not trying to say it or use it as an excuse but it's just been really hard for me my entire life since I was diagnosed with it. It is often diagnosed later in children than autism. Well, Asperger's is now counted as autism uh, because it's kind of the same thing. Asperger's is high functioning autism and obviously autism is autism. <laughs> And sometimes difficulties may not be recognised and diagnosed until adulthood. So there's some people out there who haven't been diagnosed. So there's some people out there who haven't been diagnosed with autism until they're about in their 20s or their 30s. Or there's some people who have been diagnosed since they were very little, like me, at the age of four. Four! That was 2008! Now, from what people I know have said, um, girls, can, girls with Asperger's can mask their feelings like really well. They can camouflage them. So that is why they don't get diagnosed until they're in their teenage years. But I guess for me, I didn't mask it well enough. And a part of Asperger's is echolalia, which I will explain about in a bit. Autistic people, including those with Asperger's syndrome, may have difficulties with interpreting both verbal and non-verbal language, like gestures or tone of voice. Many have a very literal understanding of language, like me, I use a wide range of vocabulary sometimes. If my face goes out of this video, I do apologise, I may have to just like lean down and slouch like that or something like that. And we think people always mean exactly what they say. Even if it's like um, onomatopoeia or a simile or anything like that. And we also find it difficult to use and understand 
facial expressions, tone of voice, jokes and sarcasm, vagueness, and abstract concepts. I can't really hold my fingers out because when I do like something like that, I can't really like kind of hold them out like that. But now I'm gonna do a situation where there is a normal person and a me, oh, me with autism. So this this conversation would what it would kind of be like to go in a conversation with someone. Hello there. Oh, hey. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. You? Uh, I'm okay, thanks. Why do you act so awkward during conversations? Well, I seem awkward during conversations because I have Asperger's syndrome. It's a it's a condition. What is that? Aren't you too old for plush toys? Was this? I'm not too old for plush toys. I mean, plush toys are nice and fluffy. They're cool. Yeah. And what is that DVD? Oh, uh, this. This is a um. This is a signed Karen Scream DVD. Signed by my idols, and I'll building a Billy Cornelius. Aren't they from the 60s? Well, yeah, they're from the 60s, but Fenella is still my main idol. I love her so I much. wish you were into modern shows. It looks better on you. Well, I can like whatever I want. I don't have to like modern shows. I'm not that into modern shows. <laughs> You're weird. L listen, listen. Asperger's syndrome is a condition where it affects a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Walking out when I'm explaining it. Yeah. Real smart. Real funny. God, some people. People with Asperger's syndrome usually have good language skills, but they may still find it hard to understand the expectations of others within conversations. Perhaps repeating what the other person has just said. This is called echolalia. Now, echolalia is where you repeat a quote from someone or a TV series or someone has said or anything like that. I use echolalia all the time in my daily life. Like, like kids TV shows, BBC children shows, VHSs and stuff, like sometimes I say to my my best friend Sodor's music station, sometimes I'm like, um, that scene from Balamori tantrums where Archie throws a fit. Oh, now I just stuck to me, the bother, 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 and it just like tops the balloon. And I use that in my daily life, and I also, well, sometimes when I kick down the door, I'm like, here's Johnny. <laughs> And also talking at length about our own interests. Like, I talk heavily about Vanilla Fielding, Rocky and Bullwinkle, Hanna-Barbera, um, VHS tapes, uh, YTPs, vlogs, kiddie rides and stuff. And sometimes people can get bored of it or just like, they just don't really like the same things I do. And it is kind of hard because I want to find a person like me. I just don't want to be alone. So, if you're a fan of like Rocky and Bullwinkle and stuff, comment down below. I need friends tomorrow. And the main thing is, people with Asperger's syndrome often have difficulty reading other people, like looking at like their face and stuff, and like what they're saying. Like they're trying to be realistic with us, and recognizing or understanding others' feelings and intentions, and expressing their own emotions, which is very very hard. So either we. So we either just like get angry or get sad or cry. And this can make it very hard for us to navigate the social world. We may appear to be insensitive, seek out time alone when overloaded by other people, not seek comfort from other people, appear to behave strangely or in a way thought to be socially inappropriate. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and here's another key point. We find it very hard to form friendships, whether it be in person or online, which is why I have a lot of idols because I was never able to make friends. I don't really talk about my experience with Asperger's until now because it's been very hard for me and I've been very shy and embarrassed. Some people with Asperger's may want to interact with other people and make friends, which I kind of really want to do, but some may be unsure how to go about it, which I am both of those people because I want to make friends, but at the same time, I don't think I can. It's going to be really hard for me. And I don't think this is getting my head in it. And if it's not, I do apologise. So you're probably thinking, well, what can I do to help you? What's it got to do with me? Well, you can help people with Asperger's syndrome and their families by spreading an understanding about autism. You can sign up to support the Too Much Information campaign on the National Autistic Society's website, which is in the description below. Or you can donate to them so you can continue to give millions of people information and advice about support. 
and volunteering in one of their schools, care services or offices, or you can fundraise for the National Autism Society. Um, it has been a very hard, long road, but I'm still willing to go ahead. I'm embracing myself because Bernardo is not going to survive her straight. So I've got to be prepared. I've never properly dealt with death before, but I'm just going to hope for the best. And a few shout outs I want to give out for now. Simon and Brad Norman. Brad Norman definitely deserve a shout out because you've been there for me the most. And thank you for following me on Twitter and Instagram, by the way. So thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I've never spoken openly about my Aspos until now. Um, and I just thought everyone should get a better understanding of it. I just think it's very obscure. And I'm not weird. I have autism and Asperger's. So thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you in another video. So yeah, bye.